just going to show you a quick video of um, problems we find normally associated with cavity wall construction. Not all the time, just some of the time. So you can see here. This wall, this probably has been injected with bead type insulation. You can see there's a slate DPC there. You can see expanding foam. This is all completely blocked up. So what they do is normally they spray all this stuff in or put some sort of closure in to stop the beads falling out. But they obviously the technicians that installed it haven't taken this out. It's subsequently called subfloor decay. So you see up there. Notice the height of that air brick is beneath the leaves. Here, these are installed in the blues. If you look at this here, let's put this through here. Can you see this is actually hitting the back of the inner skin? And this wall is obviously now suffering with condensation problem where it's getting cold. I'm just going to show you in here. This is the original air brick, and you can see this straight through, all the way through where it should be. If you have a look in here, you can see the mould on the walls here, and the air bricks. And if you come in here, the subfloor is starting to decay simply because some of the air bricks are blocked up. And also, you can see here, there's no DPM underneath the wall plate. So obviously rising dams coming up here into the timber. This one's happened to that. See the floor. Plates here. So you've got a bit of brain rot, got a bit of common furniture beetle, and also got a bit of wood one weevil. Interestingly enough, we were called here just on the damp problems. We all diagnosed the problem in the bricks just by simply having a little poke around. We also took some moisture meter readings, but the skirting pump readings here are nice and dry. It's high readings all across the wall. Now, see if you see here, uh, off the scale, the skirting board, nice and dry. So the other people, contractors, come around and look at that. And they diagnose rising damp and this, that and the other. But what we've done, we took a couple of samples from underneath the floor and got to the bed joint. And also here, because they were actually living in the property, and it's obviously perfect conditions with some quite these visible stains. So they didn't want to have a full profile to all up the walls. So what we found is, there has been rising damp. And there's also been three damp courses been drilled back into this property. All the damp proof courses are actually working and this dampness here is actually salt and that is from the um, obviously long term rising dampness and the salts come up from the ground they've been distributed in the wall. So the damp course is working so it doesn't need a new damp course, all it needs is, is a new salt resistant replastering system. See you around here. Thanks very much.